previously I showed you how to label all of your images to uh, create a training set for doing object detection. So in this video we're going to show you how to use RoboFlow. Um, RoboFlow is a nice little website. Um, one of the reasons I like it is that it allows you to easily take stuff you make and label image and then bring it up, you upload it to RoboFlow and then it can produce a data set of any kind. So a lot of times you'll find that YOLO v5 has a different sort of training requirements than YOLO v4 versus other sort of object detection models. So what RoboFlow can do is it can take everything it's uploaded, um, it can sort of parse the way that it's already been structured uh, using label image and the way that those files are set up, and then it can convert it to whatever you need. So this is going to be a pretty short demo, I think, but basically we'll just upload some files and then we'll uh, look at how to make it uh, ready for uh, YOLO v5, and then we'll show how to download it and bring it into Colab. Cool, so let's get started. So um, first thing we want to do is make an account on RoboFlow.com. Um, I think you can log in with like a GitHub account or other things. Um, pretty straightforward. Once you're here, you're going to uh, come over here and just click on Create New Data Set. You might actually have nothing here. Um, I've got already a, 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 sorry, a data set that I've been using. Um, we're going to go ahead and create new data set. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just call this test. And this is a data set type of object detection. You'll see here that they also have a bunch of other ones as well if you're interested in this. So if you're interested in just doing uh, classification or semantic segmentation, you can do that as well. But we're going to do object detection. Um, and then our, let's see, our group. Oh, so this is basically like what kind of, what kind of grouping are you doing here? So I'm going to do cats because this is what I have here. And we'll go ahead and hit create data set. And now we need to uh, add all of our images. So you'll see here that they support some... Uh, various formats. Most of our images will be in PNG or, PNG or JPEG, uh, and then it supports uh, various annotation formats, so JSON, XML, CSV, TXT. So we're going to go ahead and hit Select Folder. And I'm going to grab my training set from uh, my cat trains. So inside of here, uh, if you want to look, there is a file called class.txt, just so that it knows um, what classes are available, and there's a bunch of TXT files and those correspond, the name of this file corresponds to an image file that is also here. So you need to make sure you're uploading both. So you want to make sure you're uploading both the, the image files and the text files with this. So we're just going to hit upload. And now this is going to run pretty quickly actually. Um, I find that it's pretty fast. I think it's because I already resized down my images um, and other things. So this is uploading pretty, pretty quickly. Um, you'll see it's going to show you like really small thumbnail examples of, of the images you have here, which is really helpful. Um, one thing to note is that you can remove stuff from this. So, for example, I'm seeing this one image that uh, clearly doesn't have any uh, labeled data on it. Um, and then there's also apparently some annotations that are outside of the entire frame, which is fine. Go ahead and continue. Um, and then you'll see like you basically are reviewing this and then you'll do a finish upload. So I'm going to go ahead and just click out of here. Um, what I want to do is I want to remove a couple of these images that I saw are not labeled with anything. So I'm just going to delete this. Um, see if there's any others here that I see off the top of my head. Remove this one as well. So this looks pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hit finish upload. I think this is actually the process that will take the longest time. Uh, now at this point you have the option of splitting your image data set into train, valid, and test set. Um, it's kind of up to you. Uh, I actually don't think you need to worry about this at all. I would actually just do add all tra to training set. Um, it's kind of up to you again, uh, but for the demo I'm going to show in YOLO v5, it's fine if you just add it all to training set. It's probably better to have uh, some more training images uh, since we're only at 500. Go ahead and click continue. These are all going to upload. It looks like it's going to take oh, not too long. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just keep talking about this. So um, one of the nice things that RoboFlow also has, uh, once this is all uploaded, it also has the ability to augment your images. And I don't think we're going to really need that for YOLO v5, in part because YOLO v5, like part of the whole process of it, is it does a whole bunch of crazy augmentations to train your images. Um, so I think we'll probably be fine uh, just running this. Um, using just the, the base of this model. Um, and again, the reason we want this is we make sure that all of the, the images are processed in the way we want. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and stop the video for a second and just wait till this is finished uploading and then I'll come back. Okay, so um, we're now set up here. All of our images have been uploaded. It took me to the screen that is sort of the data set screen. Um, it just sort of tells you um, the number of augmentation images that have been added. Um, so my data set contains 498 images. So if you remember, I removed those two images. 
Um, you have a couple other things you can do here on this page. There is the add augmentation step. This is going to be randomly applied to your training set. Um, and you've got some options here, a flip, rotate, crop, um, saturation, cutout. There's some other ones that I believe um, you need to pay for. Uh, RoboFlow is a paid program, but has a nice free level that I find uh, is pretty good. Um, again, I think we're going to skip this because a lot of this is already done uh, manually inside of YOLO v5. So um, if you're using like some other, maybe like YOLO v1 or some other sort of early bounding box detection model, you might want to play with these, but I'm going to skip it for this. Um, there's also these add these pre-processing steps. Um, so you can add stuff like grayscale, auto tile, um, some other things that can be done. Uh, I, I honestly, maybe, maybe grayscale is helpful, maybe auto address contrast or some other things are, are helpful here. But again, I actually find that Yellow V5 does a pretty good job of training, so we're gonna skip this again. But if you are interested, you can play around with these. Um, I'll also say RoboFlow has some really nice blog posts on how um, to get the best out of their uh, website, as well as a bunch of tutorials on other things. So if you wanna dig around a little bit more and try to learn on how these work, um, you could find a lot more out there as well. Um, cool, so I think we're actually ready to go here. So we're gonna go ahead and generate our, our files. So if you come up here to the top right, hit generate, um, we give this a name. Uh, I'm going to call it uh, cats, or sorry, five cats v2. Um, I'm just going to generate. It's going to do a little bit of prep work for us here. And there we go, there we're done. So now we get the option of selecting a format. So this is where it's really important um, to, to make sure that we set the correct format. Um, so you'll see here there's Coco, there's Create ML, which is the new Apple model. Um, there's various different types of TXT files or Pascal files, other things. Um, so just make sure that what you set here is what your model requires for, or requires. Um, so we're gonna use Yolo v5 in this demo. Um, I might also eventually show a YOLO v4 demo. Um, the v4 and v5 are not sequential. It's kind of a complicated topic, but one team made v4, one team made v5. Um, so this is gonna be a v5 demo just because uh, Runway already does v4. Um, but v5, you'll just select this. And then you have an option here of using the download zip, which would be you just download the file directly. It's already been formatted correctly for you where to show download code. And the download code is actually really good because this is what we're gonna use in Colab. So it'll give us a, a download code uh, that we can then run in Colab and it runs from like, you know, a really fast server to Colab, which is also a really fast server, which will mean our download happens really, really quickly. So I would definitely recommend if you're gonna use the Colab method, you probably wanna choose this. We're gonna go ahead and select that show download code and then hit continue. And it's gonna zip up our files. And here we go. So there's this code here. Um, it says that I shouldn't uh, share this with anyone. I'm actually going to delete this data set when we're done here. So uh, no harm, no foul if, if you see this because it won't really work. Um, there are other options here of terminal and rod, rod URL if you want to use those. But since we're going to use Colab, we'll use the Jupyter code here. So this is pretty much it um, for this demo. We're gonna, uh, I'm going to do another one um, probably tomorrow that shows you the whole process of training um, your V5 YOLO network. Um, but we've got a, this is sort of all the prep work we need to do, right? We need to set up our image uh, labels using uh, label image, and then we needed to uh, create our data set and make sure it's in the right format um, using RoboFlow. So now we're ready to actually start training. Um, it took us a while, but we got there. So uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to do that. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to drop me a note either on YouTube or in my Slack channel, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.